This is Sagatara doing yet another narration match against the po my opponent known as simply the Ganador. He starts with the Machamp, I start with Weavile. I try to set up my Weavile, not actually thinking, because you know what? He's going to use Dynamic Punch. Should have seen it coming a mile away, but guess what? I didn't have the brain cells to actually think about that. Uh, this is going to be a long narration match. Narration. This is. Ten minutes, almost ten minutes long. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do it. It's about this long. He uses a bullet punch to kill, do finish off the job. I uh, should have attacked to begin with, but oh well. I send out my spirit team, which is actually probably the best Pokemon on this team. But this, his team is gonna screw my poor little spirit team ever. Anyways, I hit him with Toxic, poison thing badly. He's gonna slowly die now, slowly. Except for he has the Lumberry, which. It's kind of lame. Oh, that's right! That's why he couldn't kill me, because he didn't have any other items on. No, I'm thinking to myself there. Anyway, switch us out the Gengar to absorb my Toxic. Now, let me put it this way. The Ganondor is a very, very, very good player. In fact, I think I've played him a couple times once before, and I know I have another actual battle against him on my old YouTube account. So, yeah, I know I've played him for him. I know he's a really good player. So, props to him for this really, really good match. Even though I've made a couple mistakes during this match. Anyways, he sends out his Vaporeon, Toxics, my spirit to him, and I did kill off his Gengar with um, Sucker Punch. Anyways, this part is probably, perhaps going to be the longest part in the whole narration match. So if you want to go get a soda, or maybe like some popcorn, perhaps a nice little cheeseburger. Cheeseburgers are nice. Except for McDonald's, they will kill you, slowly. Burger King cheeseburgers are where it's at. The double cheeseburger for a dollar? Mmm. Delicious. Anyways, where was I again? Anyways, yeah. This is gonna be a, pretty much a poison stall match. In fact, I probably should cut it, but you know what? Too lazy to do that. So, you can sit here and watch for, oh, I don't know, a couple minutes. If I gotta talk for about nine minutes, you gotta sit here and watch for a couple minutes at the very least. And if you don't, you can just go ahead and skip forward maybe a minute or so. But hey. Who am I to judge what you do in front of your computer screen when you're alone by yourself? You sick perverts. Begin with anyways. <sighs> I really got nothing to say. It's gonna keep doing this. He's gonna use wish and I'm gonna use pain supply. We're gonna just keep doing this. Oh Nary name is gonna do a whiny voice that way I can annoy at least somebody, and if I actually do annoy somebody, I've done my job. Leroy Jenkins. Anyways, um, I guess I'll use this time to fill in some news gaps. Um, pretty soon here I will be actually uploading what I like to call as pro tip videos to actually help beginning players get better on the online format. You know, I'll be posting things like how to build a ba like basic team building. How to keep your everything in line, whatnot. Uh, using using little things that help you win a match, like using a calculator, and whatnot. You know, just those little things that beginning players actually don't think about using. Anyways, stall match is over. I switch out to Drachi. I use Zed Headbutt. I kill that thing in one hit KO. Oh, this isn't the thing that I was worried about. No, no, I was thinking about something else that's so much more dangerous than my champ. Machamp faints. He sends out Norbert. This thing freaked me out just so much. What I should have done, should have stayed in and gone for the uh, ice punch. That probably would have killed it. But no, he goes for the crunch. And since I know my tentacle is just a perfect wall, well, perfect special wall, because it can take it can take hits. Let's just put it that way. And no, for you people out there, I'm not going to do my funny voices right now. This is actually how I talk. This is not my funny voice when I was doing those weird narration matches earlier, trying to annoy people with my little peanut gallery. Which, by the way, they're not here right now. Anyways, he sends back out his Vaporeon. I use Sludge Bomb going to go for the kill. Uh, Sludge Bomb didn't do too much because I know that uh, that Vaporeon is a special wall. It always has been and always will be. He sets up his Witch. Poison's taking its effect. And I know at this point I really can't do anything. To it, because you know what? He's probably going to use protect. So I switch out, send out another Pokemon, Smithy. Haha. <laughs> now, for some strange reason, I have no idea why I sent him out. 
even when, after I sent him out, I kept thinking to myself, oh, I should have sent out, uh, sent back out Jirachi and had to use Zen Headbutt or Iron Head again. Maybe I got a flinch off or two. Why I sent him out and why I used Shadow Ball? Why I really did any of the things I did? I don't know. Right here. I should have maybe used Thunderbolt if I had sent him out for the double damage instead of the stab. Really wasn't thinking right now. And he gets a crit. I don't know if I could have lived that. Eh, probably not, but regardless, he gets a crit, he kills off my Gengar with a wall. Kind of pathetic, really. But, you know what? Double KO because of poison. So, you know, one for one, I guess. I send back out my Jirachi, he sends out his Skarmory. Not once again, I'm not thinking. I should have withdrew my Jirachi and sent out my, uh, Magnezone, which I have specifically for steals like this. Now, let's see, I should sell. Probably wouldn't have stuck, got hit by a couple Thunderbolts, a little bit of KO. Well, I saved myself a lot of heartache. Anyways, coming back. Now I finally sent him out. Why I didn't do it earlier? Don't know. He withdraws him, sends out his Norbert. Now here, I'm thinking I'll be faster than this thing, considering I got a Choice Scarf. But I guess he gets Choice Scarf also, so he uses Earthquake. He kills off uh, Norbert with a... Uh, times 4 damage, I believe? Yeah, I think that's times 4 damage. So, uh, I do care. Norbert, uh, Bebop faints. I send back out my Jirachi. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm not going to do any more of matches until after Easter, considering I do stuff for Easter. So, um, this is probably going to be the only Pokemon match I actually get up, and then I'll do those, uh, pro tip videos after Easter also, so look forward to them. His, uh, Latios takes an Ice Punch, and I'm pretty sure you people are paying attention to this. It takes an Ice Punch, it takes another Ice Punch, it dies. And I actually haven't seen Latias in forever. I thought people stopped using it, personally. Anyways, we're down to two Pokemon. He sends out Skarmory. I withdraw my Jirachi and send out my Tentacruel. Considering I know... Right now, for some strange reason, I just want to get rid of those spikes. Don't know what in God's name possessed me to get rid of those spikes. But it probably saved me... It probably actually won me the game for this move right here. That's probably the key uh, move of the game. So, I'm happy I did it. And you'll see why I'm talking about this here in a second. He uses Brave Bird. He deals a good chunk of damage. Mm, 200 and something, I think. Well, no, it's probably 100. I don't know. I don't care right now. Too tired. But, um, I go for the Surf. I go for the kill. I don't get the kill. I'm sad. But when you look at it, look how much health that thing has left. Almost next to nothing. He's gonna use Brave Burn. He's probably gonna have like one HP left. It's kind of annoying, man. I was hoping for the double KO, but look, look, he has like a smidge of health left. Get some health HP back, and guess what? I send out my Zune, and I'm gonna get the kill this time. Use Ice Punch. I'm glad I'm faster than that because that actually helped save me also. So the No Spikes being faster than Skarmory probably won me this match. Because as you can see, he sends back out his Tyrant, his um, Salamence, he's going to use Earthquake, I'm going to have 52 HP left, and I'm going to get an Ice Punch off of him for 4 times damage. That got, that got me the win. Once again, this player is really great, I enjoy playing him, he's actually an awesome player. I say good game to him, I hope I play you again. To everyone out there, I say peace, enjoy the last 10 seconds of this video. I got Easter stuff to go do. Anyways, later, peace.